Hey, it's uh, it's Tuesday. We're all here. Dragon Jim, Sean Beanland, congratulations on first. I don't. Uh... Is Mr. V okay? <laughs> Is Mr. V okay? Hey, Skep, good day. This is, uh, this is an exciting day, because we're going to get to play two older games. Hey, Matt's Game Room. We're going we're gonna to start off with uh, Aerial Strike, low altitude, high stakes, which I'm pretty excited about. It's wedged under my CM32. Hang on. It was like, just, just happened to be stuck under the volume knob. Uh, so yeah. Snag this on eBay at some point in the past year. <clears throat> Your first first? Holy shit. Well, holy shit. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we'll get to this. We'll get to this. But not only that. Tonight. Tonight. Be the first extra stream without New Vegas since like January, damn near. You know, with a couple exceptions. Uh, but we're going to start Defiance. I've been wanting, I've been trying to get to this game since probably, well, since I got it. I've been trying to play this game for almost three years. Um, and we played a little bit of it on the one hour stream, but I really want to play all of it. And I've been trying to get it on the schedule since August. And it's not a DOS game, so it didn't make that cut. It didn't hit new games in November, and it wasn't a spy game. And then, you know, it wasn't Fallout New Vegas. But this motherfucker right here... This is not the failed MMO, um, but that is the reason there's not much information about this one out there. Well, that ends. It was, this was kind of a. I don't even know if it made like cult status. I think it's really fucking cool. I have loved the demo of this ever since I got my hands on it back in like '97. I still have the demo CD that has it on it, but I think I think I snagged this big box on Amazon probably five years ago, maybe maybe longer, long before streaming. By, by several years. This is one of the first big boxes that I, I bought when I started buying them on eBay. <clears throat> um, because this is one of those games. Uh, this one was much easier to find than Chasm the Rift. Twitch is acting up again? Hey, Rush Pirate. But we're going to do this tonight. 7 p.m. tonight. Maybe a little bit earlier. It depends on like how long dinner takes and how excited I get. Because I'm really fucking excited to play a, di a new game. To completion that's gonna feel really good um i i've installed it on all of my computers because this game either uses voodoo or software rendering and some direct 3d i've had to install it on several computers and i think the one that's going to run the best on is the windows xp machine because we're going to be using software rendering um, and that one's got a Pentium 4 in it, and it seems to do pretty well. Our backup is that the Collection Chamber has a spruced up version of it that we can play on modern machines, but I don't think it looks nearly as good. Um, it'll play. It'll play reasonably well, but it doesn't take into account um, the fact that it's not widescreen. I could probably tweak with that some more, but I think we're going to be fine on the Windows XP machine. The cover design is so good. Fran, man, it's great to see you, by the way. I mean, this whole this whole game is... Sorry about the glare. I know. <clears throat> I I think it's going to be wonderful. Wolfie, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. I, I like that PC Gamer here put, like Rebel Assault, but with real gameplay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Those fighting words, you know? But that's tonight. That's what we're playing tonight. Today's a different game. Uh, I did more playing with um, Final Fantasy VII last night. Trying to get... Hey, Wolfie, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate you, my friend. We're almost at 69 uh, subs <laughs> for the month. Or, well, for the past 30 days, not for the month. <clears throat> 15 months, holy shit, that's so good. That is a long time. Nice. That's right. I don't think my... Uh, palm rest or my keyboard's coming apart. 
Oh yeah, look at that. I always play with it when we're doing the just chatting, and I'm always just sitting here doing this, and I think I finally broke it. It's fine. It'll be it'll be fine. Hey team Wildwood, welcome in. Great to have you here. Uh, have you played uh, Defiance, Brandman? And Rush Pirate. I said hi to Rush Pirate. And Mr. V. We were going to do a welfare check on you, Mr. V. Because you didn't get first today. <laughs> Come on, change number. Come on. Come on. In my heart, you're the 69th. The busted ass number, huh? Thank you so much, Dragon Jim. I wonder why it didn't change. That yeah, I've never. I put that I put that system in there, but I've never felt like it worked properly. Or it takes like a day to update. Let's see what the Twitch dashboard says. Twitch dash dashboard says 69 subs. Uh, so I know it's right. If it's Streamlabs, I put in a delay. It's not Streamlabs. It's not Streamlabs. It's something else. Oh, you gifted it to Team Wildwood. Thank you so much. I was staring at the number and not reading it. Thank you, Dragon Jim. It was very kind of you. Um, stream labels. If it's stream labels. No, what system is it? Uh... No, it's through, it's through Leoran board. Um, it's actually, Captain Peel Card designed it. But I put a delay in to make sure that it caught it, so that it stayed on the number, and then while it was up, it changed. But it must not have, uh, reacted fast enough. Oh well. <clears throat> First one was accurate. Oh, you know what? Maybe because they were so close together that not a full minute had passed, that it wouldn't update. I'll bet that's what it was. I'll bet that's what it was. Um, so what was I saying? Final Fantasy VII. I really liked what I played yesterday. That was fun. Um, my recollection, there wasn't like an easy setting for it, was there? It was just you play and then the game gets progressively harder. Does that seem about right? I don't... I don't remember, suddenly. Um, but I learned some things about the mod and Steam Cloud. The mod has its own save file location that isn't in the document folder where Steam syncs their files. Uh, the save files between the, the, the Reunion mod and the Steam version with the Cloud Sync um, are in different places. Yeah, I found that out when I was watching your stream last night, Rush. So, I did figure out that I could put the mod file into the Steam thing, because here's the thing. The mod disables achievements. Which, I wish that I'd have tested it out knowing that, and just tested the mod, and not popped one achievement. Or would have just played the whole thing with the mod, and like, not given a shit about the achievements. Because... Because either I want all of them, or I want it to be zero and not fuck with my my average. Because the average that I have on Steam like doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It's pretty bad. So many dead games, you can't get all the achievements. Yeah, it's. I think it's rare. Um, we just played all of Fallout New Vegas, all of the Bethesda games. If you mod them, you can still pop achievements. Got, I got achievements in Fallout New Vegas the whole way through it. With lots of mods. Um, Serious Sam has a modded mode. All of those games go into a special mode that doesn't have achievements. That's really the one that I know that always does that. Um, so, allegedly, if you go to the, the installation, the frequently asked questions site for the mod, they were like, oh, get near the end of the game and then, you know, open your save file in the other one. I just had a hard time getting the save file to sync. I did get the game kind of running on the Steam Deck without the mod. Um, I 
I suppose that's because it's built into Steam, Sean. Like, uh, like Serious Sam is. Serious Sam mods are built into Steam as well. I think it's an arbitrary disconnection of that Steam um, enforces. If it has Steam Workshop. Uh, I didn't have... I tried to install the the mod by just copying the folder from one PC to the other onto the Steam Deck, and I couldn't do that. The problem with the main game on Steam Deck is that you have to hook up a keyboard to press X to advance into the game's menu because of that like prompt that comes up comes up that shows you the keyboards. You have to press X to advance from there. Um, and the on-screen keyboard will not press it because it has... They put some arbitrary, like, driver check for a physical keyboard into the game. You can use you can use the digital keyboard elsewhere, but the game the game's broken in that way. Um, like the game itself is actually looking for like a PS2 or a USB keyboard, and the Steam Deck has not those things. Um, instead of just being like, is there a key press? It's like, is there a keyboard connected or something like that? I don't know exactly what it is, uh, but that's kind of what I was what I was reading with some people's theories. Uh, so that's a pain in the ass if you were going to play the Final Fantasy Steam version on the Steam Deck. I'd have to carry a fucking keyboard with me every time I launched it. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to say that's a Steam Deck issue, I'm going to say that's a Final Fantasy 7 issue. If I were to get the mod installed, um, the gamepad works in that part. But I didn't have luck with that, but I didn't try to clean install it either. It is kind of silly. Because, you know, Final Fantasy 7 on the Steam Deck? Kind of perfect, ain't it? Well, yeah, Rush. I mean, I do have lots of little keyboards, but then there's the thing of, like, I will also have to take that with me everywhere, you know? <laughs> Granted, if I was going to travel with the Steam Deck... 100% I'd bring this keyboard with me. It's a good size for it. I have smaller ones. My mic's buzzing again. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that'll be better. Sorry about that. <coughs> I wish that it would remember where it was. This mic. Um... Maybe, is it time for a new mic? Something that either doesn't have a digital volume control or has like a dial that I can just set and leave? The mic I have is good. It's just this me forgetting to turn it down two notches every time I turn on the computer that's getting me. Um, so apologies, I know I've also been yelling because I'm excited. I, I don't have very good volume control. <laughs> well, I do. I just... It's super loud all the time. So, I, you know, I feel like the Steam Deck's the perfect place for me to <clears throat> be, you know, play a Final Fantasy game. But that is that little thing. Getting getting into the, the you know, the, the new game to load game menu is a huge hindrance. Hindrance. Same on volume. What did it? It didn't go down. What do you mean their uh, their rush? It definitely went down. I can see that it went down. It's not buzzing like it was. No, I'm say Oh, gotcha! I gotcha! I gotcha! <clears throat> My brain was in troubleshooting mode. What's our weight today? 187. We can go down a little bit. Look at that. It's almost, you can almost tell that I'm losing a little bit of weight. You can almost tell that there's green under that. If we keep this weight bar going, we'll get to see a lot more green, see? And we'll get down to, this is uh, 160. That's where I want to be. 20 pounds lighter. No, 30 pounds lighter. I've been had a real hard time breaking away from 190 here, but there's 187. Feel good about that. It's like 187.8, but it counts. I'm always going to round down. <laughs> it counts. So we'll, we'll get there. 
It's been... It's been... It's been a... Ugh. Really been struggling to get out of this. I can actually show you guys this. <laughs> um, yeah, here. I've been struggling to break away from that line there that's 190. It's been, it's been, it's been hard. But I have a, a bit of a downward trend right now. See, yesterday I was at 187, now I'm at 187.8. There's a bit of a downward trend. I just gotta ride that, ride that roller coaster. We'll get there. <clears throat> Losing weight is tough. It's hard. Crippling depression made it easy, but I don't have that right now because I'm happy. <laughs> Crippling depression made it really easy. Um, also, poor health and surgeries and all that stuff made weight loss really easy. And in my head, I'm just like mad at myself that this should be so much easier because it has been in the past. But also in the past, like I was going to bed at like six o'clock being like, today's fucked, I'll try again tomorrow. And that was about four years of my life. It was really easy to not overeat if you never got out of bed. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Sean, no. No. Um, you know, I, I would factor that in. There's... Honestly two pounds at most. I don't think I have that. I mean, my hair is thick and it is heavy when it's wet. I'll just never wait. You never weigh yourself out of the shower. You wake up, you lose all your water weight. I mean pee. That's what I mean. Take a piss. And then you weigh yourself. That's the best time. That's the lightest you will be for that entire day. That is, that has been my experience. If, if the mainstay of video games becomes VR, I think is the only, only thing that I would do, um, that I would consider cutting all my hair off for. Um, but even with short hair, like, that strap that goes through the middle of your head, it's awful. It's probably, it's probably less awkward. If you have long hair, especially if you side part it, if you part it down the middle and then put that thing there, like it really flattens that out and it just, it looks bad. Um, and then I'd actually start to worry about like a receding hairline in the part line, which can happen. Not specifically with VR, it can happen with hats and stuff like that too. Um... <clears throat> I would wear my, I would wear, my, if I had, if I had short hair, I'd wear my headset a lot more, that's for sure. It just takes so long for it to dry. Um. Cool, let's, uh, let's take a peek at some news. I guess, or we can just dive right into the box. I guess I don't really care. We'll take a peek at the news for a few minutes. We won't spend too much time on it. I know, uh, I should go grab that other, that other thing. Uh, they might change designs. You've seen VR concepts without the top strap. Hey, Hairball. Thank you so much. You are the 70th. Thank you so much. Become a supportive friend. 13 months, 13 months, 13 months. Captain Peel Card is working on getting me um, voice stuff when he has time. He's been really, uh, he's really busy looking for jobs and stuff um, and taking care of himself. There is some stuff in the works that I'd, I'd like to have um, on the stream that he was going to help me with. Like, you know, text-to-speech for bits and subs. Stuff like that. Which is a thing that I've wanted and just haven't put back in since I left Streamlabs. It seems... <clears throat> yeah, I like, I like special text-to-speech. I like text-to-speech, I do. Um, but I also think that it shouldn't be free. <laughs> you should pay for that kind of disruption. So it would be bits and subs. You know, which is pretty standard on Twitch anyway, so we just haven't had it. <laughs> I 
Especially since everybody's just gonna say suggestive things anyways, right? <clears throat> okay, let's look at some news. You're wrong. Was that my issue yesterday? Something in this little... Give me just one second here. I'm gonna go grab the other one back out. So I bought, this, it's these things right here, these little hubs that go USB-C um, and HDMI out and then have a power um, with, you know, some, some power over here and then USB 2.0s and whatnot. Uh, this other one that I bought originally, it just, it's got HDMI out, which is why I bought it. But I bought another one that I think is what's giving me a bunch of shit right now. Um... Slide it back out of my wiring harness here. <clears throat> so this other one that I bought has all of that. It's actually a bit smaller. It has all of that. Uh, you know, power, HDMI, USB-C for power. Oh, this is 3.0 two more 3.0s, but it has an Ethernet LAN connection on the end, which was, you know, kind of nice. It allows you to download things a little bit faster. I do not tell too many pawns. I tell just the right amount. Uh, there's no TTS on your stream. You don't trust anyone in Hairball tells too many pawns. It's a fact. Your stream has lots of other really cool things. So yeah, the, so the one that I think is what's been crapping out is significantly smaller and lighter and these things are crazy too like they're they're full metal they're not plastic which is weird so every time they touch something you hear this like nails on a chalkboard awful sound <laughs> uh, but let's see let's see if this goes back to working correctly hey purblind day is going really well my friend it's great to see you I suppose it could also be this long cable. Because I did buy an extension cable because the little pigtail on this is just so small. I should probably keep that in the loop and see if that maybe that's my issue. Keep everything the same except for the device. They're like $15, $25, something like that each. So if one of them doesn't work, it can fucking go back to Amazon because <clears throat> that's the uh, that's some money to save, you know? Plus their return policy is so good, huh? Right, so let's see. Let's see if we can get the news going here. It's so long. Alright, there we go. Pin them a Pokemon like MMO uh, will leave early access in September. Anybody know anything about this? Poke Monster Taming. She's got like lava rollerblades. That's kind of cool. Long man means. Oh, long, long man. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, this compact MSI PC looks like an Xbox One S. That's kind of nice looking, isn't it?
Uh, MSI Mag Trident S. There's the name. So let's look at some more pictures. <clears throat> Hello? More pictures? There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. It really does look like an Xbox One S, doesn't it? MSI. That's cool. One fan. Kinda cool. Fortnite Pro sprout, spouts racial slurs, shows off gun stockpile, and widely condemned video. Okay. You do you, just do it where nobody can hear it. <laughs> uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 leak shows beta hitting PlayStation first despite Microsoft Activision purchase. Interesting. Honestly, you're not against cool case designs. I like cool case designs. Um, I mean, you've all you've all seen my computer case. The this Antec Torque over here. Um, it's the second computer case in my entire life that has called to me and been like, "This is the case that you're gonna own for the rest of your life." The other one, well, it didn't. This one probably will. I'll probably never get um. I'll probably never sell this case. I fucking love this case so much. <clears throat> Microsoft hasn't bought them yet, so it's not surprising. Yeah, that makes sense. Sean, Sean hates my, my computer case. What did, what did he say? He said, that thing is hideous. I believe was his exact words. <laughs> oh boy, Hayden Christensen is defending the Star Wars prequel dialogue. Human woman kissing simulator Sonic relisted as a, oh Sonic 06. Interesting. What? What a weird clickbaity title. I got no interest in reading it. <clears throat> it's like a meme from a community I'm not part of, I guess. Cool, there's a Lord of the Rings Golem game coming. I forgot about that. It's been kinda it's been kinda quiet on that front as far as the news goes. 4K cages? Oh no. The Duffer Bros have a secret Stranger Things spin-off idea that we're gonna share and not keep a secret. Okay. <clears throat> Companies need to embrace unions if that's what the West wants. Because my cages look amazing. <laughs> I know, right? Dragon's Dogma, Dogma 10th, 10th Anniversary. I've never played that. I should probably get Dragon's Dogma on the one hour stream at some point. I've had that for a really long time and I feel like that was a very well received game most of the time. <clears throat> it's kind of like, I, I assumed it was always a little bit like Dragon Age, like that genre of, you know, medieval RPGs. Yeah, like Kingdoms of Alamor, that or Al Alamor, however you say that one. Yeah, I should play that at some point. At least just check it out before I die. <laughs> Ooh, Sniper Elite Five's unlocking in the near future. I've been I, we finished Sniper Elite Four, me and Dementia Dude. Now we just got some DLC to play. Like we got to kill Hitler naturally. We'll do that in two Saturdays. Um, hey Sean, we should um. 
We should talk about checking out an MMO this weekend. I don't have any plans for once. This weekend. Because Bogle's doing a 24 hour stream, so we're not doing a marathon on Saturday. We should PM me later. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I think my wife would have reminded me before we got to Saturday. Um, so, uh, so good, Sean. We already had plans. <laughs> I could not, I couldn't see past, I couldn't see past not having any streams for Saturday. But we all, we all, we all lucked out here, didn't we? <clears throat> KFC China's adorable dancing Psyduck toy is an internet sensation. Okay. Zero Grave is an arcadey descent in a Technicolor drench coat. Drench coat. Drone coat. Drone coat. My brain is... What's going on in Texas, Skip? You say you say words like that, I'm starting to think there's been another mass shooting. <clears throat> it's gonna be a sports thing, isn't it? Shooting? What's blast axis? I don't know that one. That fucking sucks. I don't know what blast access is. <clears throat> Real bad news. Agreed. Last Axis $20 has a demo. Criminally underlooked. Only has seven reviews. What is this? I've never seen this game before. 2019. Interesting. I can't share it because HDMI is on the other thing right now. <clears throat> on the wish list it goes. Okay. Is it still ongoing, Skip? Please don't change anything for Dragon... Oh, there is no announced Shooter is Dead, you believe? Uh, there is no announced Dragon Dogma 2. But thanks, PC Gamer, for your constant fluff pieces. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla has building in it? I didn't realize that. I, Inquisitor, is the dark fantasy RPG that marries Big Witcher vibes with Mean Jesus. What? <clears throat> hey, Caffeinated Diabetic, welcome in. You won't like him when he's angry. Christ, that is.
So apparently this game is like if Jesus rolled out of the crypt after being killed and then went on an inquisition. I Inquisitor? I the Inquisitor? From the developers The Dust. I don't think I know what they've done. <clears throat> Jesus did not die on the cross, but he came down and unleashed vengeance on all the non-believers. Uh, 1500 years later, an army of inquisitors brutally enforced the faith. A dark action adventure based on the best-selling book. Oh, okay. Is this Polish? Jacek Picara? Full controller support. No release date. Sword fight. Oh yeah, that definitely looks Witcherish. I do have a Steam Deck. I sure do. But if you go back to like two Saturdays ago, um, there's an unboxing and then like you know first first couple games I installed on it. I fucking love the thing. It's so nice. So do you play as Jesus here? <laughs> or... It sounds like Jesus is the bad guy. I can't think of other games. You got yours too? Um, I've just got... I've just got this little guy right here. It's just a it's just a hunk of plastic with like a, a kickstand. If you want, I'll send you a, a link. It doesn't dock it, it's just a holder. But it does come with little rubber feet to keep it from sliding around, which is nice. Um, but right now, what I'm using to capture it is just this guy here. Which is what I'm using to capture the phone right now. Which is an Acabat, Acadot, sorry. Um, HDMI. I have another one, but it was blacking out on my phone yesterday. Um, but it, it had ethernet port on it and not as many usbs but unfortunately you've had it since march nice send me a pm on discord if you want and i'll send you amazon links for the ones that i like if if that is of interest to you uh, yeah, okay. Let's, uh... Damn, 247. Oh, yeah, I started a little bit late. Let's hit box of the day, and then we're gonna play today's game. There we go. That is, uh, disheartening news that there's been another shooting. They always do seem to come in waves. You know? We just had one, what, two weeks ago? Last week? <clears throat> they do always seem to come in waves. <clears throat> Probably what I need to do is clean out the drawers in my desk next to me and just put my commonly used cables so I stop throwing them on the floor. Altitude high stakes. <clears throat> Landing. There you go. You see what I did there? That was an aerial strike. <laughs> Found this on uh, on eBay at some point in the past year, like I was saying. Um, Jaeger Development. So, oh, I remember exactly when. This game is from the guys that made the last Spec Ops, the Lion game. Jaeger. Team Jaeger. That was them. <clears throat> and that's how I got turned on to this game. And then it was, it was just sat in my eBay cart for a while, and I finally bought it. 
Uh, but this is the Egger Missions version. There's a sticker under here that I can't quite read. Or, well, there's words under the sticker that I can't read. And stories featuring something. I think it says the Jaeger missions. Um, some of this is weird. This this seems to not be in the vehicle of the little section of the game that I played. And then when you open this up, it's like a guy holding two two turret guns, right? Also weird that this is perforated. Super weird. Uh, air combat never looked so cool. I was going to say, because this is not from the air. <laughs> this person is clear clearly on the ground. Maybe they're in like a bomber or something. So this thing is about a million discs in here. I think it's seven. Which is closer to a million than zero. Is to a million. It's not closer to... Yeah, seven. Six of seven. What's really nice about this game is once you install it, you don't need the discs at all. Didn't have to get a crack or nothing. It just doesn't need the discs to run and play. <clears throat> I don't think that there was a DVD version of it. I think that CD-ROMs is the only way. It's not available digitally that I can find anywhere. Uh, or at least it wasn't when I bought it on eBay. There was so something missing on the back of this. I feel like it's a CD key, but it didn't need one when you installed it. All right, Wolfie, have a great night, dude. There it is aerial strike instructions on how to install epilepsy warnings, and oh wow, all into one. There's your uh, there's your survey card. Technical support, Dreamcatcher games. Has anybody ever played or even heard of this game? And, uh, it definitely was under the radar for me. I think it was sold in North America. I actually don't know. I think that the North American version, I think this is the North American version, and that, like, what we have for the, the Twitch title, that was the worldwide release called The Jaeger Missions. But here, the, the subtitle is Low Altitude, High Stakes, and not The Jaeger Missions. Um... Yeah, Jaeger development. I would like to play this on Windows XP, and it runs very well on the Windows XP machine I have, but it does not like my sound card and has a very, very bad way of mixing it. You can't hear dialogue because sound effects are too high and there's no real way to adjust it. So I installed it on Windows 10, and it works much better there, and it plays better. It's just, it's just better in general. It just... I don't know. I like the way it looked um, on the CRT. So I'm kind of bummed about that, but this was actually supposed to be in the schedule three weeks ago, but I had to take a week off and it just got bumped. So we're finally getting to it. Da, 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 da. Let's go. I'll be playing on mouse and keyboard because I just did not feel like setting up a... Uh, Joystick. Also, here's Blast Axis, Axis, that game I was talking about earlier. Y'all want some sound, huh? Oh, let me do that. Mm -hmm. Invaders? Pop? What? That ship is a giant chainsaw. For really, there's an Xbox version for that game under a different name. What was the name? This game just looks okay. I like a good Six Degrees of Freedom game, but this one's not really doing much for me. Xbox version came first. 
It was just called Jaeger. You know what? That does sound familiar. I think I did read that. Eh. Blast Axis. Alright, the people that like it, like it. <clears throat> Alright, let's get this out of here. We don't need you. You mean Jägermeister? <laughs> Hope y'all are ready for some some quality quality nonsense here. Oh, I didn't change the today's game's name, did I? You got some, uh... Oh, Cowboy Bebop vibes, huh? Basically co-op syrup. Yeah, when I was in out of high school and college, that was really popular. Alright. You get to pick your own character. I've already created one. We're just gonna keep using it. Can't get to any of these options until then. Audio, video... Shadows anti aliasing. 1280 by 1024 will be alright. That'll be alright. Pro jet mode! Auto centers. Controls! Look at these beautiful camera shots of the dude. Uh, we'll go through the back to the basics training here. They got a DVD release? Nice. Proteus Islands. 11.03 a.m. Despite everything, here I was back on Proteus Islands and back in the job market. Nothing much had changed. They still looked a cool place to be if you had money, and I didn't. Freelancing for Proteus beat starving. In fact, if you pulled a good job, it paid well. Very well. So far, I'd been lucky. Everyone seemed to have forgotten my previous misdemeanor. Hey, it hadn't been my fault. Just a slight miscalculation that left me in the water and my ship in pieces, along with my reputation, my relationship, and my bank account. But this time it was going to be different. It hadn't been easy, but I'd got my hands on a great new ship. And a signed Proteus contract. Now all I needed was a nice little high-earning job, and it would be business as usual. The downside was the Proteus red tape. Before anything could be done, both me and my ship had to be checked out for something called mission suitability. Hell, they even gave me a book of rules written by the boss man himself. Now what did they said? Hmm. Report to the assigned wing leader at Proteus base. My god, that hair. Magnus Tide. I wonder if those grease monkeys have finished crawling over my ship yet. What does manual control calibration mean? How should I know? You press the damn button. Guys? Oh, uh, everything's A-OK -okay here, Tide. It's past the official criteria. <clears throat> All you have to do is turn her on. I never have trouble turning them on. <laughs> mm, they're in a rush. Wonder what they really meant. Welcome aboard the LR-4004 Archer. The latest fighter ship is... Those idiot mechanics. It took me ages to personalize my control settings. Now I'll have to do it all again. Commence hover mode check. Please confirm axial ship rotation. Orientate the ship. To show me you know what you're doing, aim and fire at the symbol placed to the left of your ship. Someone at Lobos has a sense of humor. Thank you. Now press fire again while aiming at the new symbol. 
to your right. Sorted. Thank you. Axial ship rotation confirmed. Now checking hopper movements. Press to test on hovering linear movement. Move to the new symbol placed at your height level. What did it, wait, hold on. What did it say now? <clears throat> w to go forward, right? May I suggest you accelerate and... F I see Sir has pressed the action button. Do you want to leave? Please press the action button again to confirm leaving. Although... Thank you. You can now raise and lower the ship. Please adjust your altitude oh, yeah. and fly through the <clears throat> higher altitude symbol <clears throat> to confirm vertical movement. Back to reality. No! Those robotics designed the LR-4004 with you in mind. Please enjoy your flying and remember... I'd drink if I had to listen to you every day. I need to restart that mission because... God damn it. I managed to skip out of it by accident. Which I think was... F? Skipped it? Despite everything. Commence hopper mode check. Please confirm axial ship rotation. Orientate the ship. To show me you know what you're doing, aim and fire at the symbol placed to the left of your ship. Someone at Lobos has a sense of humor. Thank you. Now press fire again while aiming at the new symbol. To your right. Sorted. Thank you. Axial ship rotation confirmed. Now checking hopper movements. Press to test on hovering linear movement. Move to the new symbol. Thank you. You can now raise and lower the ship. Please adjust your altitude and fly through the higher altitude. Very good. Please note that you can also use the hopper mode to strafe to the left and right and to backpedal. This gives you all the opportunity. To One of the many exciting features of the LR4004 is that it can fly high in the air. To do so, switch to... Well done. Now, please try to fly through the new, higher symbol while in jet mode. Terrific, sir. Now, please take some time to further familiarize yourself with the controls. It's important to know how to switch from hover mode to jet mode and back. Very often, a proper reaction to a given situation. All controls are now calibrated, and the LR4000 Archer is ready for takeoff. To leave the simulation, just press the action button. Back to reality. All right, so all <clears throat> this is this kind of important. I couldn't progress out of the first remember. mission without it, I and I had forgotten I had about to listen it. to you every day. Um, so much for and that. Now you have to use it to man. land. It's a nice and I could not figure out how to land. Proteus. We just got a position sent to the radar. And it looks like current point of reference and... Uh, will also be displayed on map M. I don't have... Headquarters building. I don't have any ship sounds. This game has a real problem with sound. It's a real problem with sounds, and I don't know I don't know what his deal is. See, just randomly everything will just be whatever. <clears throat> I think I can just hold alt to get out of this here. Commence hopper mode check. Please confirm a back to reality. Okay. Lobos Robotics designed the LR4004 with you in mind. And I wish you could get Please to the options. And remember. I'd drink if I had to listen to you every day. So much for that. Now to find that wingman. Cool, man. It's a nice right. day for flying around Proteus. That's the headquarters building. Just got a position sent to your thing for him. Alright, there we go. We just fly to it. So it's a beautiful game. Like, the water. The water looks him? fantastic. Uh, you see the reflections on it? Like, super, super cool. Love that. Hell, they all look alike. I gotta memorize their ship types.
I probably should have gone through the trouble to hook a joystick up. And I probably still could. <clears throat> I have a feeling that this game... This is SOEB base here. What's keeping you, Freelancer? You're meant to be with your assigned wing leader. Sorry, I just had to... Hey, don't I recognize that voice? What? Oh, no, it's Tide! Sarah, how you doing? Don't you Sarah me, you... you... you freelance tramp! You need to ask! After that last stunt you pulled, I lost my promotion. Five years training down the tubes! Back to where I started in one easy move, thanks to the one and only Magnus who trust me I know what I'm doing, Tide! <laughs> hey, it wasn't... I don't want to know. All I know is that you screwed up big time and I carried the can. Now get out of my face and over to the military hangar. The wing leader is waiting. Ooh, now that's an icy reception. But she'll melt, eventually. There you are, Freelancer Tide. My job is to lead you through the training program. There's a lot to do, so let's go. Follow me. We'll go to the Sparta first. The <clears throat> Sparta? It's the aircraft carrier over there. We need to get you some training equipment. Good. I like getting equipment. Okay, Tide. They've placed your gear on one of the lower side pads. All you have to do is to pick it up. But where? Oh, oh, okay. Tide, to continue, you have to pick up your training equipment. That's <clears throat> gotta be the stuff. Got it. Now, what to do with it? It's a training weapon, Tide. Signals hits without taking real damage. We'll need it later. Now follow me to the training island. We're gonna blast some targets. Who told them I needed this? Follow me to the practice range. Once there, activate your hover mode so we can start. Kinda wish he'd just pick a direction and fly it rather than turning around in circles. The, the camera in this is very wobbly, um, and it's going to be that way whether it's uh, keyboard or mouse or joystick. <clears throat> what? Right, Tide. Switch to hover mode and place yourself on the starting air. Okay, Tide. The targets have been set up. Your mission is to shoot as many as possible. You've got limited time, so hurry. Shall I use that training weapon? No, Tide. You'll need that later. Do it with your standard weapon. So far, Tide, you're quite good. Carry on, Tide. That's really good. Extraordinary. Where did you get your practice? Okay, Tide, I'm impressed. You've no targets left. Nice. Excellent result, Tide. You didn't even need all the time. What did you expect? I'm Magnus Tide. <laughs> okay, let's see what results you get in the next part of the training. Your next training goal is to fly once around the training island, on course through those target gates displayed. To make it more interesting, they put some guns around the track. Try to take them out, or at least evade their shots. The first gate is right in front of you. I suggest jet mode on this. Okay, go! <clears throat> Looking around, trying to see what USB joysticks I have around that are easy to get to. Um, and a lot of them are put in storage right okay, now. Okay, keep on keeping on, Tide. Uh, but once we're out of this mission, I'll, 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 I'll grab one and we'll just use a joystick. One by one, Tide. Because the mouse, it could be good and it could be smoother, but it doesn't move far enough. Boom, that gun's had enough. Looks pretty good to me, Tide. Welcome back, Tide. Let's check. Hey, old off. school Jay, I'm really glad Yahoo! you're here. You got them all, Tide. Excellent. You're the right man for the job. 
This feels like a game for Jay. We can't continue till you do. Uh, I recognize this guy from another game. Not the guy that was talking, but the main character. I know I know his voice. I just haven't haven't placed it and haven't looked it up. The guy that plays Magnus Tide. This this game screams old school Jay though. I suggest you get yourself to the repair point, Tide. All seven CD ROMs. That's right. You know what's fun, Jay? You don't need them once you install it. This game runs with without CDs being in the drive. Wait, did I miss one? What is your? Did I miss one? <clears throat> Tide, better get yourself. To oh, the I wasn't point. paying attention at all. I guess we were done. I was just gonna try to hunt down a, a joystick. Um, make it a little bit smoother. Where's the repair point? Is this it? Okay. Here we I go. suggest you get yourself to the repair point, Tide. Okay, Tide. Your overall performance on this part was pretty impressive. Now let's see if you can keep it that way. Okay, Tide. Now for the bet that's going to interest you. Dogfight. I thought you'd never get to it. <laughs> keep that trigger finger cool, Tide. Better switch to your training. Okay, Tide. I'm the enemy. Try to hit me with your training weapon. Okay. Watch out. Watch yourself, Tide. This is a dogfight. Not bad, Tide. Hey, I'm just starting. So, oh, God, this game has Whoa. such terrible sound issues. You trying issues. to kill me, Tide? Yes. I thought that was the name of the game. I got you again. Okay, Tide. Not so serious, right? Come on, Tide. You're running out of time. Oh, for Echelon? I was like, this game's not on Steam. Hey, you're getting dangerous. Of course I'm dangerous. I'm Tide Magnus. Scramble, Tide. Okay, Tide, you got me. I give up. Just let me stay alive. No, I'm gonna switch hey, to the real weapon. I was only stick. playing. Okay, Tide. Training's over. Time to fly home. Follow me <clears> to the military hangar to get your landing. Hangar control, come in, freelancer. Hi there. You got a cozy berth for my ship? <laughs> you have permission to land on pad three. That is next to your wingman's pad. Hangar control, there you are again. Now land your ship on your assigned pad th Freelancer, just go to pad number three. Thanks to the training, hopefully they'll give me a high-paid job. See, now, now sounds aren't working again, but we all saw me turn them all the way up. I don't... Proteus, SOEB based, wing leader Alexi and freelancer Tide. Magnus. The name's Magnus, Sarah. Look, Space Worm, I'm not exactly enjoying this. Because there's no, there's no sound effects. <laughs> again. This game, this game's got some severe issues. Options. You're, look at this, look at this. Now they've all gone down to zero. Is there some, like, control option? Is there some control option that that is turning down all these sound effects? Purex Magnus? <clears throat> but seriously, why the fuck? Music. Oh yeah. What's default to? Eighty-eight. Yeah, cause like middle of that mission, all the sounds disappeared. The nerve of Proteus to put me through trouble. Proteus, S O E B based. See now there's music here. Magnus. The name's Magnus, Sarah. Look, space worm. I'm not exactly enjoying. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, 
Let me see if I can find a joystick that works for this. Uh, I will be right back. So we're gonna go we're gonna go overkill with the uh the X fifty two Rhino. Or the X fifty six, sorry, Pro. Um which is actually set up to mount to one of my IKEA chairs in the living room. But we'll throw this on the desk. Even though this thing's gonna sit like ten feet tall here. <clears throat> but this is a it has a it has a throttle as well, but we're not gonna use that. Because this game doesn't really use it. We'll just keep using the keyboard. Uh, but it, it connects, unlike the X52 I have, it connects just itself, USB, and then the throttle has its own USB. But, like, for reference, this thing is a monster controller. Like, seriously, a massive controller. Uh, it's got all the bells and whistles you could ask for. Like, really, really, really crazy controller. <laughs> um... And it was free, which is crazy. Even crazier. Uh, I I bought it from a reseller, um, like a refurb on Amazon, and I didn't like it. Or on, I'm oh, sorry, on eBay, and I didn't like it. So I was like, I don't really like it, so I'm going to send it back. That's like, you know, $280 worth of joysticks. And the fucking seller was like, uh, just keep it. And gave me my money back, and I was... <laughs> I didn't know. How do you react to that? I didn't know what to, how to react to that. Do the twist? Oh yeah, it's got twists. This thing's got everything. This one's got it all. But I don't like flying with it as much as the X52 Pro. I think that's a better controller. Um, I mean, this one's got like full RGB support and everything. Like it's a, it's very nice. I just. I didn't think it, the center of it aimed particularly well. But it's free now, which is great. So, there you go. I can't believe the guy just gave me the money back. You should use that on Sunday morning. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we're going to have to do some setup here real quick. Make sure. <clears throat> Actually, it looks like it's pretty good. I mean, the center's pretty good, but it does that thing where it bounces over itself when you go left to right, which makes aiming, I find, very difficult. But it has a throttle near the rocker, which helps. Well, hang on. What, what this guy has is... I'll show you what it has. There's no throttle. There's no throttle on the joystick. Yeah, there's no throttle on the joystick. Hang on.
Sorry, these things were buried at the absolute bottom of a Tupperware. Uh, what this guy does have is a separating uh, Hotas throttle um, with all, all the bells and whistles. Um, but you pull this little pin here, and this throttle just separates into two different ones. Um, and it mostly feels okay. I think the spring on this thing that tightens it makes it feel smooth as busted or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, Jay, you should. Uh, but you're still really busy. Yeah. Mm. Now my back feels funny trying to get all this stuff out of that box. It's a weird angle. But yeah, flip switches and dials, like this thing is it's kind of a monster. Like it's literally too much to set up for a game like this. But it's the one that I have that will I know will work on a modern system and has USB. Because most of the joysticks I collect are uh, are much older. <clears throat> you know, for, for older descent like stuff, Hellbender, things like that. What's this one that's stuck on? I got something that's stuck on. Who's 15? Where's that one hat? Fifteen, whatever fifteen is, is stuck on, and I don't know what it would be. Like I pressed all the buttons on, so let's just assume that it's not something, and hope, and hope that's not gonna not gonna like mess with us trying to set this thing up. It's in my Discord, Jay. Um, under the Sunday. Sunday multiplayer channel. Oh, wait, here we go. I see. Hopefully that worked right. Is it roll, roll and strafe? Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, I think we should be good here. Let's hope this saves. <clears throat> the nerve of Proteus.
Mobius to put me through training. Do they really think I'd have this baby and not know how to fly it? Hey, Ty, hurry up and get aboard. There's a job waiting. Proteus were sending a trainee on a job? They must be hard up for pilots. I was looking forward to what Sarah had to say. Proteus, SOEB based. We need Alexian freelancer tied. Magnus. The name's Magnus, Sarah. Look, Space Worm, I'm not exactly enjoying this duty, so keep it as professional as possible. Orders for the wing leader. There's an emergency situation developing. An out-of-control freighter is drifting to... You've lost a freighter? Don't crow about it, Tide. Just follow your wing leader and see if you can find it. Further instructions will follow. Don't I even get a good luck? Just do it, Freelancer Tide. Proteus Space is watching you. Screw up and you're out of work. Anything you say, Sarah. You heard it, Tide. Let's go before... Uh, gonna need to invert. Look, space worm. Yeah. Proteus, S O E B based. We need right, Alexi and Freelance <clears throat> Tide. Magnus. The name's Magnus, Sarah. Look, Space Worm, I'm not exactly enjoying this duty, so keep it as professional as possible. Orders for the wing leader. There's an emergency situation developing. An out-of-control freighter is drifting to... You heard it, Tide. Let's go before that thing takes out half of the island. I'll circle around to the north. You go northeast. Keep in touch. If either of us sees anything, we shout out. Okay, but no going in alone. I need the brownie points. And probably need the practice. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil your show. Tide, why are you hanging around? You're to search for the freighter. Listen up, guys. Incoming briefing. Hi, Sarah. We have information that <laughs> the freighter is drifting towards civilian habitation on Proteus Islands. Your orders are to operate a search and destroy mission. Destroy the freighter, but make sure you do it over safe ground. Repeat, do not detonate over inhabited areas. Proteus over. What happened to her crew? Gone. They bailed out after losing control. At least you can shoot her down without any conscience. I wonder what happened. They said the instruments suddenly stopped functioning. Funny, I recently heard of a similar incident at the Free Zone Coast. Nice. Found a thing. These the alligators? There's just fucking alligators chilling down here. <clears throat> Trans meta machine again? What's that? I've found the freighter. It is northeast of the scientist island coming close to the shore. Got you. Yeehaw! Now that's what I call a boost. Jesus, there how did I, I miss it? Check the situation, Tide, and remember the warning. Attention! The freighter is about to drift over land. Remember, guys, do not detonate freighter over land areas. Proteus over. 
Okay. Is it going to go off of land again? Oh, we should have killed the engine. I see I'm targeting on the engine there. <clears throat> so hopefully over here. And we'll take out its engine once we know. I could give it a try. It's gonna be over top that carrier though, that cargo container. Into position now of a safe area again. Hurry up, Tide. Come on, Tide. Time to bring her down. All right, engines down. Is there another target here? Goodbye, freighter. Oh hey, no! This was my job. So hurry up next time. It was too risky. Uh, to uh, Let's return to base <laughs> now. Proteus base to freelancer tide. Hello, Sarah. Mission accomplished. No, hey, Sarah. Sarah. Commander Xavier Moondrake has noted your efficiency rating. Who? Xavier Moondrake, Proteus S O E B Wing Commander, first Pretty sure that was a bomb and Commander of Special Operations. Due to your past record, he's keeping a very special eye on you. He requires you to continue with your training. Now return to base and await further orders. <clears throat> I'm anxious to see Dragon Gem and Old School J, how that movie is. If somebody wants to supply me with a copy, would not uh, would not argue. It looks like my kind of fluff. Okay, freelancer, land on your assigned platform. Oh, is it the little one again? That mission was hardly worth raising a sweat there goes the volumes again. The, and the, the audio is all messed up now. What is wrong with this game? <clears throat> Let's see, look, look, look. Everything with these things went down to 15 again. It's so weird. Under the sea. Not averse to a watch party? Cool. Another exciting day at Proteus. If you want, Jay, I'll give you a... You can transmit to my, uh... My Discord, or I can do it. But we should do that. We should do a watch party. Reporting for duty at the shooting gallery range. Target practice commencement. Follow wing leader to training grounds, and do as he says, Tide. I'm all yours. Okay, Tide, let's see how you'll deal with the dummy targets. Up ahead, there's a couple of drones for you to shoot. Too late. Hey, my shooting isn't making any impression on them. <laughs> to score a hit, you need to shoot them hard and fast enough while they're up. Once back down, they recharge, so previous hits are lost. Oh, lucky drone. This time. Okay, Ty. I'll give you a hint. Your standard weapon should have a secondary function. I guess it'll be some kind of charge. 
Hagrid charmed. Okay. Hey, thanks for using the Redeem Hagrid. <clears throat> nice. Big D and uh, Haggard Hessian going to continue their co-op. Which I think is the first time they've done anything in co-op. Or, well, it's be the second time. But... They're pressing what? So with the right timing, you can hit one drone with every second of... Damn it. Almost had that one. All right, all right. Hey, this is much better. Okay, let's try it this way. You got it, Tide. This is really cool, actually. I like this weapon. That's the way, Tide. Yep. Ah. That's it. Nice one. That's more difficult. I'm used to difficult challenges. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you are, Ty. What? Okay, time's up, Tide. Let's see how you've done. Not great. Not bad. Whack a drone, exactly. I expected better from you. Now let's see if you can improve that on a second run. Again? Isn't there something more exciting? Tide, you know the rules. It's a required practice. Now, get ready to go again. I'd be better flying off to look for pirates or something more challenging. God, everyone you miss is like. Uh, no, 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 no. Situation red alert. Oh, thank What's God. Wrong, Sarah, chipped your nail polish. The trade harbor and the scientists on Thunderclap Islands are being attacked. I'm sorry. Did they say Thunderclap Islands? Status. I hope she said Thunderclap Islands. Hey, I think this game looks great. I can see them. You know what to do, Tide. Tide, if you need it, you can pick up some ammo. There's some handy stuff stashed around here. Just keep your eyes open. That's my guy. Come on, if you're tough enough. They're done for. You can help at the harbor if you feel okay. I'll stay and watch this area. May I give, sir, a hint? You can lo I really, it's not letting me get through the words before it's like, whatever. Oh, Q locks onto the ships? Thanks. Just press the lock button. When the weapon crosshair in your heart has moved onto the object you wish to lock onto. Great news. Now go away. <laughs> Can I give Come sir on. a hint? I have a one-way ticket to hell waiting for you. To hell. <clears throat> you can't take much more. Pickups will provide you with more ammunition to keep your eyes open for them, huh? Tide, everything okay over there? Sure thing. Looks like they're all down. Okay, but keep your eyes open. Ow! An asshole. 
I, I know it keeps telling me about these pickups, but I haven't seen one. Except for that one. Oh, wait, is this one? HQ. Make sure the main Proteus facilities are no, not like destroyed. Destroy all attackers. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I see. So the second one doesn't have any. Lights, uh, camera, ammo. guns. Time for action, sucker. Another one bites the dust. Ooh, ooh, we got song lyrics now. Proteus <clears throat> pilots make fine targets. I think you're not keeping score, dipshit. Over here, Tide. I've got one stuck on my tail. Check your fire. Ha! Nailed him. I can't shake him off. Watch it, freelancer. Hey, Ty, get him off me. Please note, radar now shows the locked objects relative altitude. Note that some weapons you may acquire make use of a special locking feature. Okay, now leave me alone and let me try it out. Damn it, Freelancer. Looks like your trainer's down. The attack waves have subsided, for now. Land at the carrier Sparta for repairs and further orders. On my way, Sarah. By the way, how's our trainer? No need to sound so smug. He's on his way to hospital, but he'll live. No thanks to you. Just doing my job, Sarah. You I don't think your point tied. Part of the Sagittarius land on either of the lower side pads. Is that a moving ship? No, I sit still. Either of the side pads? Okay. <clears throat> the volume just dive again? They are, yeah. Well, the last thing that I know that they made... Well, they've made some PvP thing recently, I think. But they made Spec Ops The Line. Which is probably one of the best video game stories ever made. So, so dumb that every time you end the mission, the, the volume goes to damn near zero. <clears throat> what a stupid bug. What a stupid bug. It didn't change this time? We all heard it. Then, oh, the cycle. The cycle is what they worked on. That's what it was, yeah. We all heard the sound go to zero, right? Oh no! Did it not complete that quest? Oh fuck, is there still more in there? Another exciting day at Proteus. Oh Jay. At least that's what I hope. It's until I got my orders. Proteus base to freelance tide. Come in tide. It's so much worse than Windows XP. So in Windows XP. Target practice Damn it, I gotta play this whole mission again. In Windows XP, um, like there's a there's a scene where it's going over, um, like some air conditioner units on the island, and they are like at two hundred percent, and you can't hear her comms. Like all the sounds in this game are out of whack, no matter where I've installed. And I've tried three different computers. This was the best, but the volume dropping is is the worst here. But there, like, there's no like priority and sounds 
I don't even know. I don't even know how to complain about it. It's kind of terrible. Um, but there's a reason we're not playing at Windows XP because that's where I want to be playing this. I don't want to be playing this in Windows 10. Uh, but that you think you think I'm complaining about the sound volume dropping now? Like I can't wait for y'all to get a hold of uncontrollable atmospheric engine sounds. <laughs> they bad. They real bad. He says, "Tide." I'm all <clears throat> yours. Like, there's a fun game in here, but the sound bug is really, really bad. Okay, Tide, let's see how you'll deal with the dummy target. Oh, Up God, we gotta do this again. Right, Tide. Time for your secondary laser shot and the proper timing. Really? You dickhole? Nice one. That's more difficult. I'm used to difficult challenges. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you are, Tide. You got it, Tide. Lucky drone. This yeah. time. It's probably the issue in Windows XP is probably specific to my Sound Blaster yeah. Oddity, but yeah, it's just, it's just no good. That's it. Come on, I can get this last one. There's like one more right here, and then I think we're golden. Oh god, there's more up here. Okay, got him. Woo. Okay. No, Let's you son of a bitch! Let's there was two left! <laughs> hey, well done. But there again, you are Magnus Tide. Now let's see if you can improve that on a second run. Again? Isn't no. there something more exciting? I'm not Tide, doing it. You know the rules. I'm it's not doing it. Practice. Now, get ready to go again. Damn it, almost had that one. I'd be better flying off to look for pirates or something more challenging. Ah. Arr. Arr. I wonder if it's a certain number I have to hit or the time limit before they give me the... Do a barrel roll? Oh, I can do that. There we go. How you doing, Dimension, dude? Great to see ya. Situation red alert. What's wrong, Sarah? Chipped your nail polish? The Trade Harbor and the scientists on Thunderclap She has no time attacked. for his shit Break whatsoever. Break and go to defense status. What's wrong, Sarah? You chipped a nail? <laughs> I can see them. You know what to do, Tide. <clears throat> Tide, if you need it, you can pick up some ammo. There's some handy stuff stashed around here. Just keep your eyes open. Where? Having dinner, red beans and rice with little smokies added in. That actually sounds delightful. Lights, camera, guns. Time for action, sucker. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, there's... Hold on, is that something... Is that a pickup here up top on this thing? It is. Nice. Okay, so now we can really fly. Oh god! Why would you do that? 
Pepperidge Farm, frozen Texas toast and garlic. Man, that sounds great. I'll stay and watch this area. That sounds great. Gotta run off for a bit. Hopefully, back before you go off. Jay, old school Jay. Um, tonight, night, tonight. If you're around, don't miss that. We're starting a game that isn't Fallout New Vegas. Some hovercraft FPS. This is right up your alley. <clears throat> you're gonna want to at least catch the beginning of that because I think this game's got an excellent start. Objects. Just press the lock Traditional on deep the deep south fish. Yes, it is. Has moved onto the object you wish to lock onto. Great news. Now go away. Is that a repair bay? Let's hit it up. It's a good job these things are here. I wonder how the harbor defendants are doing. I think tonight my dinner is going to involve tuna steaks. I'm just not really sure what else, if it's going to be like rice or what. But I've got tuna steaks stalled. I don't know what that is. I think this game looks beautiful. All three forces, attack wave spotted approaching Proteus HQ. Make sure the main Proteus facilities are not destroyed. Destroy all attackers. I give better than I take. Very strange thing to say after killing someone. Oh god, no! We're okay. Bounced right off. It's like a child made of rubber. Hey, here's the pickup. Hang on. I don't know what you are. Ammunition, Ammunition for whatever this thing is. Over here, Tide. I've got one stuck on my tail. Oh, it's like rockets or something. Blah 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 blah. This music is ridiculous. I can't shake him off. Just remember, if you shake him off more than twice, you're playing with him. <laughs> Thanks, Tide. Hey, who's training who around here? Oh, he survived. The attack waves have subsided for now. Land at the That's right, Mac Lad. You get that cat off that keyboard. Order. Note that some weapons you may acquire make use of the special locking feature. Okay, now leave me alone and let me try it out. <clears throat> That's right, Mac Lad. That's right. You ever seen? You ever seen Sarah, a streamer ban a mod? Because it's coming. Information is classified. <laughs> you mean Moondog <laughs> hasn't got any idea? Moondrake tied. His name's <laughs> Moondrake. Don't forget it. Whatever he's called, he has no idea. Has Target it. fixation was common in aerial combat. Attackers would follow. Disable planes into the ground. <sighs> Air duster keyboard. You know, yeah, yeah, I can see it. I can see it, Dimension, dude. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. That happens a lot. Especially if the game doesn't do a great job of telling you you're done, it's time to move on to the next target. Imperative that you get your repairs and sorted. you don't get like you don't get to us. You don't get feedback kept updated. in war. Proteus SOEB base out. <laughs> or <laughs> thanks or to escape you from too. Tarkov. Magnus, land on the Sparta for repairs. It's between the main island and the scientist island. Magnus, go to the Sparta now. Jesus. Sparta to Sagittarius, I repeat, land on one of the side pads on the lower level. Alright, alright, we're here. By volume. We get to read subtitles now. Oh, it was, it was, it was like this when he got back? <laughs> Are over. The other three lifeboats have been disconnected. Can we 
you do think you're funny? You think I'm with a dog and don't screw up now? God, he's just, he's not getting the hint. So now we've got, like, ambient sounds. Almost no fire and no music. Where are they all coming from? Bullseye! Ugh, <laughs> God, Goodbye. this game's sound bug is just awful. Thanks for your <clears throat> help, Freelancer, but we can deal with them. Maybe, but there's nothing like being fried by Magnus Tide. Oh my god. I'm so glad that that wasn't drowned out by anything else in the game. <laughs> check your fire! You check your flight path, son of a mother! Locate attacker base. They've gotta be coming from somewhere. We'll use our one yeah, boost. Now that's what I call a boost. They can put on the waltz. I found them. Looks like a giant sub north of the Great Crater. I repeat, the attacker base has been found north of the Great Crater Island. Commencing attack. Oh god, hey, this thing. Me. Jesus. What? Tide, the aggressor base has been found. Coordinates have now been transmitted to every defender. Hey, Monique! Go and engage enemy. How's your day going, friend? Attack the tanks on the sides, above the waterline. Sure thing. This thing's got a lot of... Uh-oh. Tanks? Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, final girl. Is like the EDF dialogue had bad and was a bad game? Earth Defense Force. Earth Defense Force. Earth Defense Force. That's not the EDF from Duke Nukem. Lights, camera, guns. Time e for action, sucker. EDF must be a different game. That's no use, freelancer. Attack those tanks. Well, there we go. Well, I want the gun gone so that I can shoot at the tanks. The fighter ships are eliminated. There we Continuing go. The attack on the there sub. we go. EDF games are intentional B-movie styles with giant monsters. It's Earth Defense Force, right? Yeah, okay. I feel like... I feel like I have one of them on Steam. <clears throat> Another hit. Ah, this takes forever. It's true. Hang on, what's this over here? Some kind of pickup from a downed fighter, maybe? Ammunition. Ammunition of some kind. Looks like we got 18 rocket shots. Come on, if you're there tough we go. enough. There we go. The sub is moving to threaten the Sparta. It must be driven off immediately. This is taking ages. Isn't there an easier way? What the shit? Proteus base to Freelancer Tide. Mission objectives achieved. Return to base for repair. It's a cool sub. Return to base for repair. Proteus out. Hold it, Sarah. Tell me, just what's with these pirates? What's wound them up? And, and more to the point, where are they getting their gear from? Sarah, are, are we the, the bad guys? The pirates I've ever seen. We've examined most available vidcam footage, and the visual evidence seems to point to pirates. Not that it's any concern of yours, but the feeling here is that someone is flexing some muscle. So, we have a new hard man in town. No wonder they're getting bold. Freelancer Tide, it's not my job to speculate. Report to the repair dock. 
further instructions to follow. Proteus base out. Tide, where are you? You are meant to be returning to base. I think I'm going through the island here. <clears throat> she is so impatient. Ow! Did it lower in volume even more now? That was a very long mission. So that the free mission. Free trade zone. The coolest place on the planet. And here I'm going undercover. So far, this Proteus job didn't see. Proteus base to freelancer tide. Incoming classified. Repeat incoming classified. Hearing you loud and clear, my little. Don't go there, tide. Now listen up. You're nearing your mission area. You're there due to reports of increased pirate activity. After the sub attack, Proteus have taken your comments on board. Which comments that? The only sensible one you've made so far, about who <clears throat> supplies the pirates. We require someone to keep their ear to the ground. There's a place called Jane's Bar, where you may be able to pick up some info. Bars are always a good place to start. I figured that you'd be at home with the low life. That's why I volunteered you. Come back with some information. Proteus base out. I'll drink to that. Well, there you go. Uh, four o'clock, so I'm probably going to hop off, find somebody to raid. I'll be back in a couple hours. We're going to be playing some, some PC big box games finally uh, on the extra stream. We're going to try to get through Defiance. Might be a stream or two. I don't know how long that game's going to be. Uh, so look for that around 7 mm, o'clock Pacific a time. That's a bit off the beaten track. I wonder what that's doing around here. There's a fun game in here. Um, but like you guys have seen, the volume drops. Like, Cap right now we should be hearing music. It's kind of driving me nuts. And I don't know... I don't know how to fix it. See what I mean? Like, every time a video plays, all of these drop to, like, 6 or 0. So, like, there was, you know, in the, the video we just watched, there was music and stuff that we didn't get to hear. The Free Trade Zone. The coolest place on the planet. See what I mean? Here I'm going undercover. So far, this Proteus job didn't... Proteus base to freelancer Tide. Incoming classified. Repeat, incoming classified. Hearing you loud and clear, my little... Don't go there, Tide. Now listen up. Yeah. And, like, weapon fire. Okay. Okay. Riddle me this then. Riddle me this then. Can. It's still at 100 here. Let's exit game. Trying to see if I can find, like, you know, the volume out of 100, right? And then maybe we can lock this to read only and it won't be allowed to adjust the volume control. I see max 3D voices is set to 32. That's the one at the bottom of the option page for audio, but I don't see volume levels. 
Right, so see, max 3D voice is set to 32 <clears throat> when you're in the game. I know this is squished, squished up for y'all, but... Let's see what I mean. That's sound channels here. That's that one. I assume it's that one. It seems like it's that one. Does make you wonder though. I don't know if I tried. Oops, I don't know if I tried this. Let's set it to read only. Let's see what happens. That's not what I wanted. I just want this one. <clears throat> I also bumped up the resolution just to see. Why not? Why not? Might not launch. <laughs> or it might revert back. Well, if it's set to read only. Seems like it reverted back. Let's gonna see if that does have any effect on the sound. Commence hover mode check. Please come back to reality. I think it... Robotics designed the LR4004 with you in mind. Please enjoy your flying and All we gotta do here is fly over I'd and drink land. If I had to listen to you every day. And we'll see so if much it... for that. <clears throat> now to find that wingman. Fix the it's a nice day for flying around Proteus. So the resolution was not affected by that sound. Proteus SOEB base here. What's keeping you, Freelancer? You're meant to be with your assigned wing leader. Sorry, I just had to... Hey! Don't I recognize that voice? What? Oh no, it's Tide! Se we'll go to the Sparta first. The Sparta? It's the aircraft carrier over there. We need to get you some training equipment. Good! I like getting equipment. Okay, Tide. They've placed your gear on one of the lower side pads. All you have to do is to pick it up. Got it. Now, what to do with it? It's a training weapon, Tide. Signals hits without taking real damage. We'll need it later. Now follow me to the yeah, training Yeah, this was longer than I was expecting. Anyways, first. I doubt that was our, our fix. Oh. <clears throat> I doubt that was our fix. It's a neat game. The sound issue is my big issue. Um, and that's going to be like the one thing that'll keep me from making this a full play game is because the sound issue is so bad. Um, It's just called Jaeger somewhere. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know. I don't even know where I would go to find this one. Because um, PC gaming... Easy Gaming Wiki didn't have really anything when I checked. <clears throat> I 
That's not that. It's the wrong one. Wasn't Jaeger developing Dead Island 2 as well? It was. They were working on Dead Island 2. I guess that's dead in the water. Jaeger development. See, it's not even listed here. It's not even listed on PC Gaming Wiki. A E R I A L. Aerial Strike. There's no entry for it here. Apparently, this supported SLI. Is there a link to that? Hang on, what's this? Yeah, there's no subtext. So really, Dead Island? Yeah. Yeah. See, there's no there's no article here for for either of these entries. <clears throat> Wait, was there a listing here for Dead Island too? There is. Upcoming. Oh, Jaeger worked on it until 2016, and then Sumo Digital worked on it until 2019. So it wasn't... Wasn't... This was a Chrome engine. Or the original one was Chrome. This one switched to Unreal. Sumo Digital, what do they work on? Call of Duty Vanguard? Forza Horizon? Okay. That's interesting. Bunch of racing games. That's weird. Maybe they do the vehicle stuff. Broken Sword. It's interesting. Alright. We're gonna find somebody to raid. And I'll be back in a couple hours, say 7 o'clock Pacific time. We're going to bust out Fiance. We're going to play it on Windows XP, even though it's a Windows 95 game. That's just the one it runs the best on. And uh, honestly, I'm just, I'm just fucking pumped to start a new full play game, finally. After 27 streams of Fallout New Vegas. I'm really happy about that. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I love and appreciate all of you. And you know it. I know you know it. That's why you keep coming back, right? <laughs> Alright, see you guys live. Then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with tuna fish for dinner. Oh, I just read, Monique, you burned your pizza? You're waiting on some Mexican food? Aha. Uh -huh. Dementia, dude, it's great to see you, too. <laughs> uh, Namcos is doing random DOS games on real hardware. On 486. Actually sounds kind of fun. Five viewers. Let's go hang out there. I feel like it's been a long time since we've dropped in. How late do I think I'll go tonight? Pretty late. I mean, it's as late as my back allows me is kind of always the thing. Um, I figure, I figure I'm probably going to head out to the store here in a second and grab some caffeine. Um, I'm real excited, so probably go till 12 at least. That's usually my cutoff, unless I get really tired. Uh, maybe 1 a.m. What, uh... What you thinking, MacLad?
I'll try being around 9 or 10. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sorry, I just like super focused on chat waiting for your answer to that question. I was just like, there. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. With your freshly clean keyboard. There you go. Um, love y'all, and I'll see you uh, in a little bit. Thanks for being here.